Right now, as you're watching this video, two incredible machines are racing through the cosmic void at 38,000 miles per hour. They're so far from home that radio signals take over 22 hours to reach them. These are the Voyager spacecraft, and they've just made discoveries that are rewriting everything we thought we knew about the edge of our solar system. What they found out there in the darkness between stars has left scientists puzzled and excited. Today, we're going to explore one of humanity's greatest adventures and uncover the mysteries that Voyager continues to reveal about the universe around us. The Perfect Alignment Our story begins in the 1960s with a brilliant scientist named Gary Flandreau. While working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Flandreau made a remarkable discovery. He calculated that between 1977 and 1980, something extraordinary would happen in our solar system. The four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a way that occurs only once every 176 years. This cosmic arrangement would create the perfect opportunity for a spacecraft to use something called a gravity assist. By slingshotting past each planet, a single mission could visit all four worlds in just 12 years. Without this alignment, separate missions to each planet would take decades and cost billions more. NASA had to act fast. This was a once-in-two-lifetimes chance, and they weren't going to waste it. On August 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 lifted off from Cape Canaveral. Fifteen days later, on September 5th, Voyager 1 followed. Despite launching second, Voyager 1 was put on a faster trajectory, which is why it carries the number one designation. These weren't just any spacecraft. Each Voyager was packed with cutting-edge 1970s technology. But here's what's mind-blowing. They were built with just 69 kilobytes of memory. To put that in perspective, that's about one-thousandth of what your smartphone uses to send a single photo. Their computers had less processing power than a modern calculator. Yet these machines were designed to navigate the solar system, take photographs, conduct scientific experiments, and beam data back across billions of miles using just a 23-watt transmitter, about as powerful as a refrigerator light bulb. Voyager 1's first major encounter came in March 1979 when it reached Jupiter. What it discovered changed everything. Jupiter wasn't just a big ball of gas. It was a complex world system. Voyager revealed active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, the first active volcanoes found anywhere beyond Earth. It discovered that Jupiter's faint ring system actually existed, and it captured stunning details of the Great Red Spot. But Jupiter was just the beginning. In November 1980, Voyager 1 reached Saturn, revealing the incredible complexity of its ring system. The rings weren't smooth bands, but thousands of individual ringlets with strange spokes rotating through them like cosmic wheel spokes. Voyager 1's encounter with Saturn's moon titan revealed a thick atmosphere and what appeared to be lakes of liquid methane. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 continued the grand tour, eventually becoming the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, revealing these ice giants in unprecedented detail. By the 1990s, both Voyagers had completed their primary missions, but they were far from done. NASA realized these hardy explorers could attempt something no human-made object had ever done leave the solar system entirely. This is where our story gets really interesting. You see, our solar system isn't just the sun and planets. It's surrounded by an invisible bubble called the heliosphere, created by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles flowing out from the sun at over a million miles per hour. Somewhere out there, this solar wind crashes into the interstellar medium, the stuff between stars, creating a boundary called the heliopause. Beyond this boundary lies true interstellar space where no human creation had ever ventured. As Voyager 1 raced toward this cosmic frontier, scientists thought they knew what to expect. The transition should be clear. More cosmic rays, a change in magnetic field direction, and different particle densities. It should be like crossing from a river into the ocean, an obvious boundary. But space, as always, had other plans. In 2012, Voyager 1 began detecting strange readings. The number of cosmic rays, high-energy particles from deep space, suddenly increased. The solar wind particles nearly disappeared, 
By all measurements, Voyager 1 had crossed into interstellar space on August 25th, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to do so. But here's the puzzling part. The magnetic field barely changed at all. Scientists expected the interstellar magnetic field to point in a completely different direction from our sun's magnetic field. Instead, it remained almost the same. This was like expecting to hear a different language when you cross a border, but everyone is still speaking English. When Voyager 2 crossed the same boundary in November 2018, it encountered the same puzzle. The magnetic fields were aligned in ways that current theories couldn't explain. It was as if our solar system and the local interstellar space were more connected than anyone had imagined. Some scientists wondered, were the Voyagers actually in interstellar space? Or were they in some strange transition zone that we'd never predicted? The increase in cosmic rays and plasma density suggested they had crossed over, but the magnetic field data told a different story. This mystery reveals something profound about our place in the galaxy. We're not just floating in empty space. We're part of a complex magnetic environment that extends far beyond what we can see. What makes this story even more remarkable is that the Voyagers are still functioning after nearly five decades in space. They're powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, essentially nuclear batteries that convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. But these power sources are slowly dying. Each year, the Voyagers lose about four watts of power. NASA engineers have had to make tough choices, shutting down instruments one by one to conserve energy. Three years ago, they had to turn off the heater for the cosmic ray detector, a crucial instrument for studying interstellar space. Everyone expected it to fail in the extreme cold. Instead, it kept working at temperatures far below its design limits, continuing to send back valuable data. It's like a 50-year-old car not only still running, but setting new distance records every day. Today, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles from Earth, so far that if you could drive there at highway speeds, the trip would take over 19 million years. Radio signals from Earth take over 22 hours to reach it, and its responses take another 22 hours to get back. Yet it continues to make discoveries. The spacecraft has detected strange ripples in the interstellar medium, waves caused by explosions of distant stars that occurred thousands of years ago. It's measuring the density and temperature of interstellar space giving us our first direct samples of the galaxy beyond our solar system. Voyager 2, following a different path, has confirmed many of these findings while discovering its own anomalies. The two spacecraft are providing stereo observations of interstellar space, like having two ears to locate a sound. These discoveries are rewriting our understanding of how our solar system fits into the galaxy. The magnetic field mystery suggests that our local corner of the Milky Way is more structured and organized than we thought. We might be moving through a region where multiple star systems have influenced the magnetic environment. Some scientists theorize that we're traveling through what's called the local bubble, a region of space cleared out by ancient supernovas with magnetic fields shaped by these cosmic explosions. The Voyagers are our first scouts in this alien territory. The clock is ticking for the Voyager missions. NASA estimates that both spacecraft will lose too much power to operate their instruments by around 2030. The magnetometers and plasma science instruments will likely be the last to shut down, since they're housed inside the warm main body of each spacecraft. But even after they go silent, the Voyagers will continue their journey. In about 16,700 years, Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years of the star Gliese, 445. Voyager 2 will have its own stellar encounter in about 20,300 years. Long after our sun is burned out and Earth is gone, these two spacecraft will still be out there, carrying their golden records, humanity's messages to the cosmos, through the galaxy. The Voyager missions represent something uniquely human. Our desire to explore, to push boundaries, and to answer the question, what's out there? Built with 1970s technology, they've not only survived, but thrived in an environment more hostile than anywhere on Earth. They've shown us active volcanoes on distant moons, revealed the intricate beauty of planetary rings, and now they're writing the first chapter of humanity's story in interstellar space. Every day they operate is a day we learn something new about our cosmic neighborhood. As the Voyagers continue their eternal journey, 
new missions are being planned to follow in their footsteps. NASA's Interstellar Probe mission, currently in development, will be designed specifically to study the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space, equipped with modern instruments that can solve the magnetic field mystery the Voyagers discovered. But for now, we have these two remarkable ambassadors, humanity's farthest flung explorers, sending whispers back from the edge of everything we know. The Voyager story reminds us that sometimes the most important discoveries come from pushing beyond our boundaries, even when we don't know what we'll find. Two small spacecraft, built with primitive computers and powered by nuclear decay, have revealed that our universe is stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. As they race through the cosmic dark at 38,000 miles per hour, the Voyagers carry more than scientific instruments. They carry our curiosity, our dreams, and our hope that somewhere in the vast universe, we are not alone, and their journey has only just begun. What do you think about the Voyager missions? Which discovery amazes you most? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories from the edge of space.